Hello, everybody. This is David. I work here on the 3D scanning team at Go Engineer. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the color map display options inside of Creaform's VX Inspect software. You can see here we have a CAD model as well as a measured or scan uh, that's already aligned to the CAD model. If I turn off the measured, you can see that that is the CAD. And if I turn the measured back on, you can see that it's aligned to the CAD model in blue. So we can actually make some adjustments to the display options prior to actually creating the color map. We can also edit the color map as we're creating it and edit it after the fact as well. So to start without creating a color map first, we can look at the options underneath here, configure, and we're gonna to go to options. And on the left-hand side here, there's various things that we can look at, but we're looking at the color map today. So I'm gonna pick on color map. And you can see by default, it comes up with a continuous gradient color map. So this is basically the, the, what would be considered intolerance, this plus or minus 10 thousandths of an inch. And then at the extreme, it's uh, 0.125 of an inch in red. And conversely, on the minus side, it's minus 0.125. So what that basically means in layman's terms is anything that's kind of in the warm range here, that's where the measured is gonna be proud of the CAD or above the CAD surface. And anywhere that's blue, that's where the measured or scan is gonna be below the CAD surface. You can see also currently it's set to symmetric, which basically means that we have an even uh, distribution of range here. If we wanna change the color uh, as far as with respect to tolerance goes, I could just click on this 10 thousandths of an inch number. Let's say we wanna change it to 0 0.002, so 2000. And then again, it makes the change for the minus side as well. We can also change the color scale type from continuous to discrete. By default here, it's gonna basically break up the color bar into nine discrete positive divisions and nine discrete negative division. And that's again, because we have the symmetric button turned on. So if I wanna decrease that number, I can actually just scroll down here. And let's say we wanted to have four, again, symmetric divisions. We can also type in a new number here if we wanted to change that value to let's say 0 0.04 and make that change accordingly. We can also grab the division and move it up and down and that will affect the number as well. If we wanna change the color of a division, we can just click on the color itself. Here we're gonna change this from let's say an orange color, let's say we want it to be more of a yellow color. We can say okay and you can see that it makes the adjustment on the color bar. If we wanna go back to the reset divisions, we can do so. We can also see reset color, that'll bring the orange back. And now we have a discrete color bar that we can use. Let's change this as well. I'm gonna change this from 0.125 to let's say 0 0.06. And again, I'm going to change the divisions here. Let's say we wanna do five and we'll work with that. So we'll say okay to that. Now we're ready to create our color map. So I'm gonna come up here to color map. And you can see here that the color map that we set up, the discrete color map is displayed here on the color bar here with our range at 60 thousandths high, 60 thousandths low, and our tolerance, anything that's green is gonna be plus or minus two thousandths of an inch. So we can also add some deviation annotations here if we want to, after we say okay. We can say, well, now we wanna just kind of randomly pick some spots that we might want to create some annotations with. These are just some discrete points I'm picking out just to show kind of some of the high spots and then some of the low spots on the annotation deviations as well. So once we're done with that, I can go ahead and close this up if I don't wanna see them anymore. I can get, go ahead and close them out. And if we wanted to change this at this point back to the continuous color map, what we could do is, right mouse click here and say edit color map. And then it brings up our options again. And I can say, well, I wanna go back to continuous and say, okay. And then you can see that the color bar gets adjusted as well as the screen display of that. So with that said, let's look at another one here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and start over as if we never created this color map, just to show you from the beginning again. I'm gonna say delete. And then I'm gonna go back to the options and the reason I'm doing this, showing it this way, is just to show you when I go to the color map and I pick automatic instead of discrete. And you'll see here that 
instead of numbers being displayed here, it just says automatic. So this happens because we haven't created a color map yet. And the, so it's not showing us a specific range that we've created. By choosing automatic, we're letting the software determine the min and the max. And that's based on the overall error on the positive side combined with the error on the minus side. So currently we don't know what that is. So I'm just gonna say okay to that. And then if we go to color map, you can see here that it does populate this color bar with some values that we didn't type in. The software figured this out and I'll explain that in a second. But first I'm gonna change this intolerance zone again. Right now it's at 39,000. So I'm just gonna change this to back to 0.002. So now you can see the color kind of comes back on the screen. And then these values show up here. Again, because the software figured out the range and that actually, so it's basically taking the, the bigger number, absolute number, which is 0 0.095, and using that for both the positive and negative side. So you can see that right here, that that is the larger overall number. And then this number is here on the max side, 0 0.087. And then this plus or minus is where the basically the range is. So we can confirm that by, if I go up here and I'll say, okay, for example, and then I'll come up to deviations and instead of randomly picking, I'll just say, give me the min and the max, right? So here you see that minus 0 0.95, which is here. And you see that positive 0 0.087 number right here. And again, those two added together come up with 0 0.182. So let's go ahead and, and show that to you. So with our calculator here, we're gonna go ahead and type in 0 0.095 plus 0 0.0. 87 equals 0.182. So you can see that that number indeed is here for the plus and minus range. So that's about it for this video. I just wanted to show some of the color display options inside of VX Inspect from Creaform. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.